baby boomers and the economic boom. Older workers are remaining in the workforce longer and contributing more. According to the AARP, Americans 50 years and older generate $7.6 trillion in annual U.S. economic activity. Joining me right now here in Davos at the World Economic Forum is AARP CEO Joanne Jenkins. Joanne, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. So how would you characterize things right now? I mean, are work demographics shifting toward older workers? Well, I think we're seeing, particularly in the U.S., but also around the world, uh, the need that older workers are staying in the workplace longer. And so that is, as you said, uh, people over the age of 50 in the U.S. Uh, spend 51 cents of every dollar spent in the U.S. US and the accounts for more than $7.6 trillion in annual economic activity. And so it's a huge market segment that I think many uh, companies are overlooking, and yet these are the ones who are actually staying in the workplace, and they're also uh, contributing a large amount to the economy. Well, you know, these are really um, interesting issues that we're looking at, because here we are looking at a very low unemployment rate. We've got robotics taking over certain jobs. People are worried that technology is going to replace them. And then you've got a group of people who are experienced, who've been in the workforce, staying there for longer as they age and live longer. That's another thing that we have to play into here, the, the, the fact that we're living longer. Well, we're certainly seeing that people are living longer and uh, contributing to the workplace. So we know that uh, people over the age of 50 tell us that they want to continue to work well into their 60s and 70s in some cases. Uh, and what we are seeing now is having at least four generations in the workplace at one time. And so how are organizations and companies going to adapt to having multiple generations? And how do we bring together those generations to make sure that we're getting the best out of them in this battle for talent. You know, we, we have relatively great unemployment rates, but there are also, also segments of society, like in health care, in education, that there is this huge need for underrepresentation in the employment and then in the workforce. And so we're hoping that uh, companies will continue to focus not only on uh, young workers, but older workers, yeah. and not be putting them against each other, but seeing the value of that experience coming into workplaces that creates a different kind of culture. Well, you would think so. Uh, look, labor and longevity is what we're talking about here. And 43% of retirees are underestimating their life expectancy by five years. What, what can you tell us about this longevity economy? And are you seeing higher wages? I think at some point we're going to be talking about higher wages, interest rates moving higher, because we have a very strong economy, but that, of course, will lead to a tighter labor market. Yeah. I don't think we're necessarily seeing higher wages, Yet. but I think that older workers want different things than I think uh, some of the other workers, particularly after you've spent a lifetime of your career uh, in a particular field. I think what we're seeing, particularly at the, I work at AARP, that we're doing phased retirements, our part-time jobs are allowing people to work at home, that flexibility and, and really finding work that has purpose and meaning is sometimes more important than the amount of money that they're being paid to do that. Right. And so we're testing a whole host of uh, those kind of principles at AARP. We just this past year offered caregiving leave to our employees, which is uh, a major issue. We know that uh, almost one in five people in the U.S. will be a caregiver at some point in their life, either wanting to be, a, needing to be a caregiver or needing someone to care for them. And so uh, employment in that sector is something that's going to be a huge opportunity for people who want to stay in the workforce. Well, you also have those people who are sort of, they call them the sandwich generation. Yes. They're caring for their kids, but they're also caring for their parents. And they are caregivers. Let me ask you about technology, because the Trump administration has been placing a strong emphasis on job training, uh, dedicating an entire week to the workforce development back in June. As we look at technology and robotics having a bigger place in the workforce, do you expect that we're going to see job training uh, uh, so that we understand what the skill sets are that are required to thrive in this new economy? Oh, I absolutely think so. And I know that uh, many uh, companies around the country are already doing that. You know, we so the be, onus is on the private sector to do that, or I is think, that a government thing? You think? Well, I think it's both. I, you, you know, we run a couple of employment programs for the Department of Labor that brings older workers back into the workplace, placing them in positions uh, that are working in nonprofit organizations across the country. But a large part 
part of that retraining is around the use of technology. Uh, and we're also seeing a growing trend towards people over the age of 50 using technology and it not being uh, a barrier for them doing their work, which I think is a little different than most people expect. Yeah. Uh, and as you were talking earlier, that uh, we're even retraining how we train our um, people who use our driver safety programs on how to use technology in cars. And so as you were talking about the autonomous cars, yeah, sure. of, you know, how do we prepare this generation of people to understand the use of technology and the power that it gives them uh, around taking care of their, them themselves. Really, really great stuff. Joanne, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Good to see you. We'll be watching. This is a very exciting, actually, what you're talking about. Joanne Jenkins there, CEO of AARP. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much.